was vegetarian for like seven years, but I uh, cheated. Every now and then I would have just like one little crab cake. They totally don't count, right? It's not like they feel pain or, oh shoot, they can. No! Hey guys, Julia here for D News. We humans like to think pretty highly of ourselves. We put ourselves on the top of the totem pole of the animal kingdom. We've got our big brains and our fancy thumbs for texting. Every animal is beneath us. And for a long time, we thought we could just use any animal how we wanted to, it didn't matter. I mean, for a long time, we didn't think they could even feel pain. Scientists for hundreds of years thought that animals couldn't feel, they just simply reacted mechanically. I mean, compared to our complex nervous systems, it made sense, but crabs' nervous systems do have their own kind of complexity. A study published in the journal Biology Bulletin found that crabs and other crustaceans have lifespans of many years and a brain that in size and complexity lies somewhere between the octopus and insects. They have a small brain of sorts right between the eyes. Their main brains are more complex than you might think. They have three ganglia that have fused together to form a single brain. They also have smaller brains for each section of their bodies. These smaller brains mean a quicker response from stimuli from the environment. The nerve signal doesn't have to travel as far. So what happens when those nerves get stimulated? Do they feel pain? A recent small study published in the journal Biology Letters found that crabs react physically to a pain stimulus. The researchers subjected 20 European shore crabs to electrical shock. Most of the crabs started walking around in their tanks and a few tried to climb out, while some of the control group of crabs who did not get shocked started to walk, but six did nothing. The most telling was when researchers tested their blood, or their hemolymph. It had three times the amount of lactic acid, a clear physiological sign of stress. Another study published in the journal Animal Behavior found that hermit crabs feel pain and specifically avoid it. Crabs given electric shocks were more likely to leave their shell and to seek out other shell without the shocks. So it's clear they feel something and avoid it when possible. And according to another study published in the journal Applied Animal Behavior Science, they also limp or show other protective behaviors called pain guarding. And they even show fewer responses to negative or supposedly painful events when they're given painkillers. So that fits a definition of suffering pain as described by Temple Grandin in a study published in the journal Emerging Concepts and Strategies in Veterinary Medicine in which she found mammals from humans to the lowly rats suffer from pain. She even found evidence that birds, reptiles, and fish feel pain too. She can tell when an animal suffers from pain based on certain behaviors like pain guarding and seeking analgesics which reduce pain. Pain guarding is like when a dog hurts his paw and won't put any weight on it anymore or if an animal was hurt in a specific location, they learn to avoid that place in the future. And a wide range of animals perform this kind of behavior. Even chickens, when their beaks are trimmed, peck less than usual. Other studies on mammals and birds, and even fish, found that when the animals were giving analgesics like morphine, those pain-guarding behaviors stopped. Which is bad news for me and my new pescatarian lifestyle. Oh, but shrimp just tastes so good. Guess I should go whine about it somewhere else on the internet. Maybe I'll start a website like I will never eat shrimp again.com, which is available on domain.com. No domain extension will help you tell your story like a .com or .net domain name. And because you watch DNews, you can get 15% off domain.com's names and web hosting by using the code DNews when you check out. So would you still eat crab and shrimp after all of this? Let me know down below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back to DNews. We've got new episodes every day of the week.